Hi, I'm Al, and I'm a science interpreter at the Franklin Institute. Like most of you, I'm observing CDC and World Health Organization guidelines by staying home and washing my hands regularly. But why is there such an emphasis on hand washing? Let's find out! The CDC recommends spending at least 20 seconds washing your hands, but a study published in 2013 found that the average time a person spends washing their hands could be closer to 6 seconds. How clean can your hands really get in 6 seconds? Let's find out. I'm going to use ink to represent soap, and I'm going to use these kitchen gloves to protect my hands. See all of the spots on my gloves that aren't covered in ink? Those areas did not get any direct ink or ink spread by friction from my hands rubbing together. Let's compare these results to what happens when I follow CDC guidelines and hand washing recommendations. What do you notice? Proper hand washing is an important habit to have all year round, but it is crucial right now that everyone washes their hands thoroughly. Think about everything that you touch in an average day. Your personal items, things at school, handrails, doorknobs, we touch a lot. Viruses can persist on these everyday surfaces and get picked up by our hands, sometimes resulting in us getting sick if we transfer the virus to our mouth, our nose, or our eyes. This is why hand washing is so important. By using soapy water, you're actually working to destroy the outside layer or the membrane of the virus. The soap molecules stick to the membrane, and when you rub your hands together, friction can actually pull that membrane apart. Once the membrane is destroyed, the virus can no longer spread infection. So you're not only protecting yourself, but you're protecting the people around you. Let's slow it down and see the steps of proper hand washing with real soap this time. First, wet your hands with running water before applying soap. Turn the sink off to conserve water and lather up your hands, being sure to scrub all the sides, up your wrist, and around your fingernails. To pass the time, you could count to 20 in your head, sing the alphabet song, sing happy birthday to yourself twice, or you could even listen to this portion of the video. Once you've completed your scrubbing, it's time to rinse thoroughly with clean running water. The soap and scrubbing help to break up germs and lift them from your hands. Putting them under running water now removes them and sends them down the drain. Finally, be sure to dry your hands thoroughly with a clean towel. Thank you for joining us for this Spark of Science at Home video. Stay tuned as we bring more of our favorite science from our houses to yours. Now stay safe, and I hope to see you all again soon at the Franklin Institute.